Women's Bantamweight matchup between Misha Tate and Juliana Pena. All right, here we go with round one. Prevailing wisdom going in was that this fight was either going to end with some ground and pound or by way of submission on the other side. Yes, and when you look at it like that, you think the ground and pound comes from the grappler. The submission comes from that fantastic jiu-jitsu fighter. But if I'm the grappler, I possess the ability to make this fight stay standing if that's where I want to be. This jiu-jitsu young lady needs to get the fight down to the ground as soon as she has the chance. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice punch there by Tate. Shooting for the takedown here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, nice jab. She's got a hell of a jab, and I guess that reach advantage doesn't hurt. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice high kick. Try to establish that jab. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Tate. She gets to her spot, the tie punch, and then she starts to let the knees fly. And you're going for the takedown, but unable to land. Big body kick lands. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking the top and down low. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, back to the band. A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Nice straight punch. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to be very active. Oh, did she get tagged by that combination there? And unless they're going to give her headgear between rounds, she better start raising that guard. She's got to start doing something, but it's a testament to her opponent. Throwing so many strikes, she's being so accurate with everything that she's doing. Back to the feet now. See, see there it is. She switched. She switched. Visibly limping here. Good punch lands. Pena gets in the clinch yet again. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And they separate. Nice stick with the right hand. She landed the head kick there. 15 seconds to go. Oh, useful trip to get the takedown here in the clinch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good now. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Well, she's able to connect on the punch there, DC, really making good use of her reach advantage. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. From here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Nice strike. And they separate. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Nice stick with the right hand. 
big kick. Some nice back and forth action here. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong oh, strike over the now. Yes. Kenya's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Tate's back in full guard now. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. Nice job staying busy here, working off of her back. All oh, the damage to that leg starting to take its toll. You see her limping a little bit. Another close position. Oh, nice inside trip there. Oh, that was nice. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Able to land a single ground strike there. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, Pena's, oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stool. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, beautifully done there. She lands another strike to the body. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only is she is active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. And you're going for the takedown here, nothing doing that. Back and forth we go. And she's going southpaw now to begin the round. Tate gets back up. Oh, Pena's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Tate gets in the clinch yet again. What a punch. She blocked the punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, we told you off the top, she's got the longer reach and certainly made good use of it in landing that straight punch there. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. And now trying to take the back. Oh, she goes to the patented trip there to get the takedown. Well done. 
Tate's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. One minute remains in the fight. Trying for a submission here. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Nicely done. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest 29-28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Misha Kapete! All right, so pretty clean effort out of her, really, from the open.